All right, hello everybody. Welcome to our Fire Emblem Radiant Dawn for newcomers playthrough. My name is Jokes1301, and let's get started. So today we are on part four, chapter four. Let's go. So we're just cruising right through, almost done with part four, honestly. Naga tells of the connection between Dayan and the Dragon Tribes. Ranulf reveals the identity of the Black Knight. These revelations send Ike's mind spinning in a whirlpool of confusion and doubt. Ike becomes convinced that the answers to all of his questions lie within the Tower of Guidance, and he is determined to reach the Tower at any cost. His group arrives in the Duchy of Tannis, near the Imperial capital. Caught in a sudden downpour, they take shelter in the Duke's deserted villa. Good old Oliver, and what a time. If, if you don't know Path of Radiance, that's okay. You don't have to, but Oliver was the worst in Path of Radiance. So, here we go. We're back at his place. Um, I guess it got remodeled in the past three years because it's a little different than last time. This is great. I can't remember the last time we got to sleep indoors. We can be thankful for the rain, I guess. Yeah, the decorations are a little overdone, but the beds will be warm and dry. I'm glad I remembered this mansion was here. Presumably, we're the first people to set foot in here since Oliver was posthumously, meaning after his death, found guilty of trading in harem slaves. I understand the Senate confiscated his lands and property immediately after the Mad King's War ended. Well, someone must be living here. The place is spotless. By law, there shouldn't be anyone here. I wonder if someone is squatting. Yeah, squatting. Mm hmm. Is something wrong, Raphael? I feel that we are being watched. I sense no malice, but there is definitely some sort of presence. Perhaps the master of the house? Hmm, I bet we'll find out soon. Yes, we will, but first, let's prepare for the battle. Alright, so because Volug is in our team, we do get a special info conversation here that we'll read. Um. Er, hello, what can I do for you? Hey, that's an elixir. Dot, dot, dot. Yes, I like them too. Dot, dot, dot. Blah, 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 blah. Blah, 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 blah. This is like the ancient language, so I just, uh, it's inherently gibberish. Blah, 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 blah. Sorry, I don't mean to leave you out of the conversation. No, that's fine. I would have been confused either way. I didn't know you could speak the ancient language. It's Hatari's common language. I would never have known about the Tellius language if I hadn't met Raphael. The Tellius language? You don't know? The language we're using right now is called the Tellius language. You call it modern speech, I suppose. Oh, I see. Long ago, Bjork created the old tongue. The ancient speech is what we, call, we Lagoos call it. The language was too difficult for the Lagoos to master, so the language of Tellius was created in its place. Huh. I've never heard that before. The only people I'm aware of who know the ancient speech are the Heron Lagoos. I think in the Seer of Goldoa said he could read it. Among Bjork, only mages know how to use it, and that's only for spells. Well, the Lagoos who live a long time, such as dragons and herons, have all the time in the world to learn it. Bjork probably f left the ancient speech behind in favor of a newer and improved language, with the exception of spells. That makes sense, I suppose. Mordecai once told me that speech lets you avoid fighting when it's not a good idea. He said that's why it's a good idea to know many languages. Did he now? Balug, did you hear that? You can learn the language of Tellius with Mordecai. I will... I, I will try. He understands what you're saying for the most part. It's the speaking that's the hard part for him. Man, that's like whenever anyone in the whole world ch like tries learning a language. The speaking part is the hardest part, definitely. You don't need to feel obligated. I mean, it isn't like I can understand ancient speech. Blah, blah, blah. Um, here. Take. Oh, I understand. Thanks. I think I understood that. You were happy that I understood what you just said. Good. As long as you have the desire to learn, words will soon follow. I see. I'll try to learn a little ancient speech from now on, too. Baluk, you be my teacher and I'll be your teacher. Yay! Destroying racism one step at a time. So yeah, now we have another elixir to add to our modest collection here. Um, in terms of other stuff, though, I don't think Ike really needs an iron sword. 
He doesn't really need a hand axe, but I think it's funny to keep him with one. Um, Solon doesn't really need two men's. I think he can make do with just one. Titania looks fine. It's unclear if we'll even use Titania this battle. Um, Oscar doesn't really need the Steel Lance because he has the Iron Great Lance. We have tons that are just like not necessary. Um, I forgot to give him a bow last time. He does come with C bows from his promotion, which lets him use steel bows. Let's see if we got a hand axe for Boyd. No, so let's go buy a hand axe for Boyd. We could just sell the torch now because there's no more um, Fog of War chapters. Mia is probably fine. We could sell this torch as well. And yeah, besides that, we'll just go ahead and buy a hand axe for Boyd. And let's go ahead and sell the torch staff because we don't need it. And we can sell the torch item as well. There we go. Um, I don't really like the wild heart skills, so I'm just going to sell those two as well. And then I'll sell blossom as well. All right, cool. All right, check the, check the bargain shop. So there are two chest keys. I'm actually going to buy them because they can be just like situationally useful. Um, I like giving one to Nyla because she has a lot of movement range. And then I'll probably give one to Janaf for the same reason. All right, cool. Um, let's see if there's any supports that we want to build. I guess Nyla Raphael could be something. Um, most everyone has A supports now, which is really nice. So yeah, that's, that's pretty sweet. All right, so let's go ahead and save and we'll go to the battle. Revelations is the name of the chapter, just like Fire Moon Fates, Revelation. The Disciples of Order are here. They just appeared in the outer building. All right, let's get everyone mobilized. General, come quickly, our friends are in trouble. Friends? Here we go, blast from the past. Hey, it's Tormod and company. You know how the first time we saw Tormod, he just like one shot a guy with his Elfire spell? This time, not so much. Hey, isn't that... It's Tormod! We haven't seen him since the Mad King's War. Extinguish them. Funny you should phrase it that way, you soon-to-be cinder. That is pretty funny, actually. Man, Tormod, you are uh, not doing well. What the? That should have worked better. Who are these guys? Tormod, your backup's here. Just hold your position. Much appreciated. Don't worry, we're not going anywhere. Wait a second. Ike? What happened to you, musclehead? It's definitely Sir Ike. You know, Bjork growth always amazes me. It's like looking at a different person. Between him and So, I'm starting to feel a little inadequate. Well, that settles it. I've still got a lot of growing to do, so I've got to survive. I can't die like this. All right, let's help these guys out. Get ready for battle. So yeah, um, Tormod, Marim, and Vika are here. And they haven't changed at all from their part one appearance. Now in part one, they were like amazingly strong. In this part, not so much. Tormod can't even use the Belogonone, which is laughable, honestly. It's pretty funny. Um, so, yeah, with 20 speed and 17 magic, he's doing, like, nothing. He's getting doubled by this guy and does 26 minus 18 is 8 damage. Yeah, he's pretty bad. Vika, very similar. Not good. Marime actually does hold up because he has 30 defense and 36 strength, so he can actually do a good amount of damage. Um, unfortunately, he does get doubled by some people, but not everyone. Which is nice. Um, he just gets doubled by those who have 26 AS or higher. Which seems to be mostly Swordmasters actually. So he, he hit a good threshold getting to that 22 speed. And then with 30 defense he can actually tank a lot of hits. Um, especially because he has 58 HP. So a key thing with this battle is that there are a lot of doors and chests. So there's chests in this room, this room, and this room down here. 
Um, so that's why I recommend bringing Heather on this team because she's helpful for getting chests. The other thing is that like Oscar is not very good, so we're gonna replace him with Heather. Now unfortunately that means that we can't use this amazing support for Titania. Um, but I think she'll be okay with Powder. So our basic plan is going to be like trying to save Tormod, Marim, and Vika while also like Titania can't um, go up ledges so she can just go to the right here and everyone else is going to kind of go up. I'm going to send Janak to the right I think as well because I think he'll be helpful up there. And then I'm going to send Boyd and Mia and Nyla and stuff up here. All right, besides that. Oh, the other thing is that you can edit their weapons. So definitely do that. Definitely is a helpful thing to do, especially because I recommend giving Tormod a Bolone, even though he'll probably just die if he gets attacked. But the other big thing I recommend doing is giving Mom some Olivi grass. And since I don't have any, I'm gonna actually return to the base here and buy him some. Because that's just going to be so helpful. And I'll just go ahead and buy this other one just in case I need it. Um, and since you can return to the base, you could give them like bonus experience, but it's not super worth it. Alright, so Ryan has Olivia grass, Vika has some grass, so we're doing pretty good there. I think we're good to save and start the battle. All right, let's go. All right, so Mia could run up and take out the sniper, probably, maybe. Not quite. If she got in her range of support, maybe, plus three attack. I don't think that's quite enough. So something that would be pretty good, though, is I could have Boyd move here with my hand axe, and then I bet I could have Sheen on move up here, and he could probably take out, yeah, he could take out the sniper, and then Mia could move here and finish this guy off after Boyd weakens him. So we're going to go ahead and do that. We have Boyd weakened there, get a level up. Hopefully he gets some speed, because he's so slow. Come on, Boyd. At this rate, no one's going to replace you. And then, neither of these guys have ranged weapons, so what I'm actually going to do is move Mia here. And then trade, give Boyd a not ranged weapon. So the hand axe can attack at range, but the iron pole axe cannot. Um, but the iron pole axe is stronger. And so that's why we're going to go with that weapon. And then we can have Mia just take this guy out with a steel sword. Ideally, she doesn't get hit. <laughs> I say as she gets hit. And then I do have Nyla to move. What I kind of want to do, though, is... Um, so Raphael can make up to four people move again. So if I move him here, I could have Nyla like move here, transform, and then get danced for by Raphael. And then she could be more useful up there. Now I am going to have Sheen on just so I don't forget to take out this guy. Very nice. And then... What we could do is we could have Soren run up and attack here, but he doesn't do a ton of damage. And I'm wondering if Ike just kills? Not quite. Alright, so Raphael can move here and he can move one, two, three people again. Um, so what I think we'll do is we have Soren move up because he does a similar amount as Ike. And he'll attack. And then what we can do is we can actually finish this guy with Titania. Nice. Unnecessary soul activation, but we'll take it. Alright, let's just see a good level. Plus one speed. I mean, that's not the worst level in the world. It's not great, though. And then I'm going to have Titania move forward so she's in range of these warrior guys. And then what I'm going to do is 
Move Nyla here and shift. And wait. And then I'll have Janaf move here and he can use his Labusto. And then this way I can have Janaf attack. Um, which will be pretty nice. He actually can do 25, which isn't bad. It's not a ton of damage. And then Ike can actually move up here and take out this guy, which is pretty nice. Alright, and then we'll go ahead and make everyone move again. Do a little conversing there, you know. No, no better time to talk than on the battlefield. And then I think what we'll do actually is have Gatry just attack this guy. And then I think we'll send Janoff up here with Nyla. Um, and then that way it's easier to like guard Tormod and friends. So if Gatry procs Luna here, he didn't. He would have killed with Luna, but it's okay. Because what we can actually do is have Soren move here and just finish this guy. Nice. All right, and then something that I want to do now is I want to make sure that like no one's at Torm like Tormod and Beak are not in range of these guys. Um, so I'm actually just gonna have a move like over here to this corner, kind of get him out of the way, and then I'm gonna have Janoff Jana here trade Gatry a Iron Polax because. There's only warriors in range of Gatry, and so this way he'll have, if he had the Iron Great Lands equipped, he'd have Weapon Triangle Disadvantage. This way he doesn't have Weapon Triangle Disadvantage. And then I'm going to have Janak move up here to be in range of both the General and the Swordmaster here, but he's not in range of that Sniper. And then I'm just going to move Marime here um, to block off this guy. And then I'm gonna have Nyla just move up here next to Janaw. All right, and then Heather can just move up here and wait. Oliver, Duke of Tennis, have a care. The last time you faced these enemies, you were defeated, humiliated, and your harem slave trade was excused. By the good graces of your fellow senators, you were saved from death and hidden away here. Behind the backs of the apostle and the prime minister, we have kept you safe. Do not fail us. I understand, Senator Hetzel. Rest assured, the savages who dare set foot in my home a second time will be eradicated for the glory of our goddess. Ugly creatures deserve nothing but an ugly death. You will not regret the lovely mercy you've shown me. I have no idea what Oliver's voice sounds like, so I just made one up on the spot. Not the worst voice I've ever done. <laughs> Alright, nice dodge there from Titania. See, she don't need that support from Oscar. Of course Janoff dodges because he has like over 100 avoid. He didn't do a ton of damage, but he did a good amount, which I appreciate. I actually don't think Void's going to kill here because he only has 20 to 6 speed. Yep. Good old Void. He's super slow for some reason. It's super obnoxious, but it is what it is. There's that. Weapon, not Weapon Triangle Disadvantage, and now here Titania has Weapon Triangle Advantage. Could activate Soul again, but did not, so that's, that's cool. Unfortunately, Moran cannot attack back against this guy, but it's not a big deal. Um, he can actually attack back against that guy. Here. I think Janoff should kill this Swordmaster. Just barely perfect, that's what I like to see. Oh, I didn't even realize Vika was in range, or Nyla was in range of this guy. Let's go. Alright, so those guys are, this is another reason why I like having Mirai move there, is because it's a good way to just choke these guys. So what I could do is I could have Mirai, oh, he's so close. Alright, Tormod, let's put in some work here. Weaken for Mirai, don't you dare miss. Let's go. And now, Marion, or Marum, however you want to say it, can take out this guy. Now, the reason I wanted to move Marum away was so that um, I can move Soren up here, actually, and take out this guy.
And then what I wanted to do is have Ike come over here. So because of the Ragno, Ike is able to A, have 35 defense, but more importantly, attack back against these guys down the ledge. And so I'm going to have Ike just take this guy out. And then this way Ike can just like take out all of these people in one fell swoop. As long as I don't move in the range of these guys. Which shouldn't be too difficult. Alright, so Gatry can't kill that guy. Can Titania? Oh, nice. Let's go. And then Gatry could attack this guy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have Gatry attack with the Steel Great Lance here. Just because that's like the most damage he can do. And then I'm going to have Titania move here. Give Gatry the Hand Axe so that he can attack back against this crossbow guy. And then I'm going to have Titania kill this guy with a Hand Axe. And then this way the crossbow guy won't be able to attack me without getting attacked back. Oh, the counter kill. Easy. Alright, now I do have to be careful because this crossbow guy can just kill Raphael. But, what I could do is actually have Raphael make Titania move again and just kill the crossbow guy. Um, while also being able to go up the ledge next turn. So this is a good way for us to like use Raphael this turn, but also put him in a good position for him to go up the ledge next turn, so that he's useful next turn. And then what I can do is I can have Titania actually kill this guy with a steel pole axe. Oh, let's go! She activated Soul, which gives her her health back. So the reason I used a steel pole axe is because the hand axe isn't a necessary issue anymore, because this guy doesn't have ranged attacks. Alright, so I'm thinking what I do here is I could have Void kill this guy. Then Mia can run up, take out his Swordmaster. And Shinon could... Hmm, I wonder if Void could kill the general. So he has 27. Void does double, because he has... The general has 22 AS, and Void has 26. And then Void has 48 attack. 48 minus 27 is 21. 22... I think he could do it. So if I have Shinon kill here... Let's see a good level. Speed luck. I mean, my people are not getting great level ups here. Not the worst. Then I can have Mia kill this guy, which is like a silver sword. Easy. Alright, so now let's check something. Oh man, I don't think... Oh, Boyd's so close. That's fine. So what we can do is... Boyd could try to get the crit... Let's go for the crit. Why not? Let's go. Got the crit. Easy. I mean, it wasn't completely necessary that Void killed there because, honestly, we don't care about Dorkies. But honestly, like, if Void didn't kill, then the general was going to attack on enemy phase and then Void just killed on enemy phase. So, not a big deal. But, kind of hype. Not going to lie. Alright, so I don't want to move in the range of these guys. Um, but I do want to bait down like this archer and stuff, and so I'm going to move Nyla like right here. And then I'm going to move Janoff behind her and use some grass. And Vika's the only one left we have to move, and she's not going to do anything this battle, so... Nice, we got the sniper down. Alright, so Ike should just kill these mages. They should have, like, next to zero hit, if not zero hit on him. <laughs> the unnecessary critical, let's go. Alright, Ike, let's see a good level up. Strength, skill, defense, I'll take that, that's pretty sweet. Ike gaming, just thrashing it all with Ike, easy. Alright, so we did bait down some of these other people, which is actually pretty nice. Alright, not too bad, not too bad. So Ike should be able to kill all four of these enemies. There's one. 
That's fine. I'm okay. Oh, there's the Aether. Get his health back. Easy. There's two. And another level up for Ike. Get some res. Very confusing, but we'll take it, I guess. Another Aether. Yo, let's go. He's like, oh, you hit me? Well, let me just activate Aether so I have my full health back. Wow, Nyla got hit? Very surprising. She's like super dodgy. But she's also super tanky because Lagoo's Royals are just absolutely busted in this game. Alright, well, there's all of them. Let's go, Ike. We should have like an Ike kill counter or something. <laughs> Alright, so Ike could probably not kill these guys because they're pretty fast and he only has 31 um, attack speed. Which is fine. So one thing though is that Raphael can make people move again, and that might be really useful here. The other thing is instead of making Gatry like go up all through here and then coming back around, I'm actually just gonna have him go up the ledge. Because what I can do is have Titania kill this guy. With the steel pole axe. And then she can just like move forward as far as she can. Um, one important thing that I forgot to mention is that since this is an indoor map, Titania has minus two moves, so instead of having nine movement, she has two, or seven, wow. We'll just move her up here, and now she's in range of this general, which is fine. I mean, like, he does have weapon triangle advantage, but it's not a big deal. Alright, so Raphael can go where Tormod is, so if I move Soren here, we could start physicking people. Oh man, I totally forgot to bring the Restore Staff. This guy has a Sleep Staff, which is super obnoxious. We'll see how to deal with it. Alright, so let's get Tormod out of the way here. Um, if I move... <laughs> I think what I want to do is... Let's deal with the left side first. So let's open the door here. See if Void can kill these guys. Does not double. Does not double. So we'll just go Killer Axe Void here. No, we'll just use the Killer Axe. And then I'm going to have Mia just like start coming over this way. Um, so if I have... Sheen on move here. Then what I could do is have Vika shove him down. And then that puts him in range for Raphael. Then what I could do is I could have Jana kill one of these sword masters. Don't mind my squeaky chair. And then I'll have Janoth move just like down here. And then the other thing I want to do is I could have Mariah move here and use a grass. And then I can have Ike move here and converse, I guess, with Soren. And the reason I wanted Ike to move there was because now when I make all four of these people move again, Ike has more options. Specifically, Ike could kill like the sniper or the halberdier here. And then that way he just gets the kill, rather than just weakening his Swordmaster. Now, I want to be careful with the sleep, because he's really good at putting Ike to sleep, which is super annoying. So his range is 1 to magic divided by 2. So he has 25 magic, so 25 divided by 2 is 12.5. We round down, so he has 1 to 12 range. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Okay, cool. So this space and then the diagonal of this space okay so i think if janoff kills this sword master very nice and then we could have marine like weaken this guy i'm wondering what shinon can do so what we could do is have Shinon and Marine kill the Sniper, and then Ike can just kill the Halberdier.
go for the one shot, that way he doesn't get counterattacked. And then I can have Ike move up here, take out this thing. Very nice. Now, what I'm going to try to do is put Nyla in range of the sleep guy and hope she just doesn't get hit. Um, we'll see how well that plan works out for us. And then, I'm going to have Gautry move here so that he's more available. And then I'm going to bring Soren up here, give Ike some more void. Um, and we can just go ahead and heal Janoff while we're at it. What I should have done is brought a restore staff to this chapter, and I usually do, but I also sometimes forget it. Let's go. Alright, so the sleep staff only has three uses, so that's one use down. It's solid 17 tomorrow, but that's not too bad. Nice dodge. I mean, that's fine. Alright, Titanium might get hit here for a good amount, but... <laughs> oh, the counter almost made it so she killed. That was so close. The boy should weaken both of them, and if he gets a crit, he could kill one, which would be nice. Wow, that guy really took the long way. Huh? Alright, well, boy did not get a crit, which is sad. Oh, Titania has a view. Yo, let's go. I forgot to put that on here. That was actually pretty nice. Um, we'll go ahead and take out this guy. And then we'll just move her as far forward as she can go. We'll have Gatry hop up here. Um, I'm thinking actually, I'm going to bring Mia back. Seems kind of stupid in retrospect, but this way Mia could take out one of them and then Void can take out the other one, hopefully. Maybe... Oh, if Mia's next to him, he definitely can, because they give each other plus three attack. So Mia can take out this warrior, and then Void can take out the halberdier. And then we've cleared the room for Heather to get the chest. Think? Let's go. See, at least someone got a good level up. Oh, we got a chest key. Alright, guess we uh, really don't even need Heather then. I'm actually going to leave Heather here to get these chests. Um, that way Void and Mia can come join the action. Void, please, please, get strength. Or, not strength, speed. Please. Alright, so now that we have this area, let's take out this guy with Mom. Strength defense, I mean, honestly, that's all I really care about for him. I'll have Sheenon attack this guy because he doesn't get attacked back when he attacks from 3 range, which is pretty nice. And then I can have Nyla move up and take out this guy. Now, I'm just going to try to have Nyla um, get hit by sleep. So he only has two more chances to hit her, and I'm just hoping that she just doesn't get hit. Alright, let's see Soren level up. Wow, that was pretty good. So, since I'm going to have to wait two more turns for Nyla to, like, bait out this sleep, I'm actually going to do Revert here, so that instead of losing Lagu's Gage, Janoth gains it, and I'm pretty sure as a Hawk he gains 8 per turn. I could be wrong about that, but I'm pretty sure it's 8. Um, and then, the reason that's nice is because then... In two turns, when the sleep is done, Janoff should be ready to transform again. Alright, so the other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to have Gatry move again. And then this way he's just like available to be up here. And then I'm also going to have Vika rescue um, Raphael. So then Tormod can move here, take and drop. And then this way Raphael is close to the action. But we were able to make Gatry move again. Alright, please dodge. Let's go. Alright, this guy is going to try to attack Titania. And she's going to heal all that back with Imbue, which is super nice. Oh, and these reinforcements arrived. Okay, cool.
So what I'm going to do here is I am going to have, I'm just going to check out, see how much Titania does to these guys. She doesn't kill. If she gets hit by everything, I think she might die. 16 plus 19 plus 12. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have Titania attack this guy with the hand axe. And here's the hope and she doesn't get hit. She got hit, but that's okay. And then I'm actually going to put Titania here. And then this way she can only get attacked by either the warrior or the um, sword master. And then I'm going to put Gatry right here. Because this blocks that warrior from jumping up here. And then... The other thing I'm going to do is heal Titania with the Physic Staff, just to make sure she doesn't die. Oh, is that A Stabs? Nice. And then I'm going to put Sheenon over here too. And then Moran, I mean, I think what I'll do is I'll revert and use some Grass. And then this way he should be ready next turn as well. And then Pika could probably just revert. And then, let's have Boyd and Mia start moving out here. Heather, get the chest. Oh, a blizzard? Let's go. And then, we're going to go ahead and wait one more turn for the sleep. And then, we should be... Yeah, so Janoff did get plus 8 gauge, so next turn he'll be ready. Alright, please miss. Let's go. Alright. No worries about that sleep staff anymore, because now it's broken. Nice dodge there from Gatry. Doesn't double, but that's okay. Oh, that's perfect. The reason that's super nice is because A, um, Titania doubles this guy, even though she did miss. And B, she didn't have weapon triangle disadvantage. And she healed back almost all of it. Alright, so yeah, Janoff and Marim are ready. Um, we're going to bring Boyd and Mia up here. So I'm just going to have Boyd move here. Actually, get Vika out of the way. And then, I don't think Tormod is actually like all that useful with anything over here. Let's see if he hits, just for kicks and giggles. Let's go, Tormod. A plus unit. I guess I didn't really, like, review them since coming back. Oh, I did review them a little bit. Um, in terms of, like, four newcomers, I'd say none of them are particularly worth using. Like, Vika clearly is horrible at this point in the game. Tormod can do some things, like I've shown, but not much without being in danger of dying. Um, I will say Moran has been very useful, so definitely use him in this battle. But after this battle, I'd say, like, they're not really worth grazing or using because you probably just have better units at this point. Okay, so Shinon could kill pretty much anything. Gatry still can't kill the sniper, which is funny. What I'm actually going to do, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have Shinon kill this um, warrior here. And the reason for that is because I want Gatry to step down from the ledge. Alright, could my people stop getting, like, one snap? Because Gatry is a much better tank than Titania is. And then what I can do is I can have Gatry kill this sniper here. Activate the Luna, nice. Alright, get a level up. Let's go! See, those are the kind of level ups I want. And then, I'm gonna have Titania try to hit this guy. If she misses, that's fine. Yeah, not a big deal. And then she can move down here. And then next turn, she can plug up the ledge. Um, importantly, though, this turn, I do need someone to plug up this ledge. So I'm just going to have Ryan do it. Um, I think, yeah, one, these guys do have longbows. So I'm going to actually shift Ryan. And then up here, I don't have to worry about um, the sleep guy anymore, which is really nice. I do want to be careful with Janak and this crossbow. 
So I'm gonna have Ike move up here and hopefully, yep, kill this guy. Oh, let's go activate the Aether. All right, another Ike level up. Speed. Let's go. Got the speed. Unfortunately, oh, he can double this Swordmaster now, but he can't double these guys. Oh, he can't double this one, but he can this one. Cool. Um, and then I'm going to actually have Nyla stay out of range of that crossbow. And then I'm going to have Soren move up here so that he's in range of his support with Ike. And then lastly, I'm going to have <clears throat> Raphael make Boyd and Mia move. Sorry, had to take a quick drink of water. And then I'm just going to have Soren and Boyd use Volinaries here so that they can be at full. Alright, nice. And then the thing I want to do with Janoth actually is just move him here. So that he can go up that ledge if need be. Alright, so hopefully Ike can just take this guy out. Ike also has plus 30 avoid and 2 attack. So he should be able to just like take out everyone that he can double. If Gatry activates Luna here, he does kill. Unfortunately, he did not, which is okay. I don't... Does Ike double this guy? Let's go... Alright, but Ike does not double this guy, which is fine. And I don't think Ike doubles this guy. Activate Aether? Nope, that's fine. Unfortunately, that blocks off Ike from being able to attack a lot of the other ones. Like those two other ones that are on the left. But that's okay. All right, we got some reinforcements. Let's try to break through here. So I'm gonna have Gatry just take this guy out. Um, I do know that more of these reinforcements show up, so I want to be careful of that. And then I'm gonna have Marine just like run up here and start attacking this guy. Sure. It's nice that he has such high defense because that does make him like able to do a lot of things on this map. And then this guy does have a steel bow, which if he attacked Janot, he'd have plus 20 to his attack, so he'd have 55 attack, which is not enough to kill Janot. But unfortunately, Janot does not kill that guy, so I think Janot would be better used in taking out this guy. Nice. All right, and then maybe Boyd kills. Nope, you can't double a general. Are you kidding me, Boyd? You're horrible. All right, um, maybe Mia takes out this guy. Adept, please. Let's go. Got the adept. And then I, what I want to do actually is like leave Ike as the only one in range of all those people. So I'm just going to have Ike take out this guy. And then this way he's also still in his support range for Sworn. And the reason why I don't want Nyla to be in range per se. Is because she can't attack back at range. Um, and so. This way. The only Lagoose that's in range is Janoff. And he's only in range of one of these guys. So that should work out. So what I'm going to do is actually have Nyla move up here. And help out Marine. More like steal his kill. Actually, I don't think he was going to kill anyway, so it's okay. Alright. And then I'm going to have Boyd just like come up here, maybe? Yeah, I'll have Boyd just come up here just so he's on the docket, ready to go. Um, I'll have Titanium move here. And then Heather can move down here. Can you rescue? No. Um... Yeah, I think what I'll do is actually have Raphael move up here because I think it'll be more helpful up there than 
the help that he would give from making Heather move again. And then I do want to be aware of that spear guy, so I'm just going to leave Soren where he is. Nice dodge. Alright, so Ike should definitely take this guy out. Let's go. Ike is so good. Especially with that Swarm support, because then he gets plus 2 attack and 30 avoid. So helpful. Hopefully he doubles this guy. If not, it's not a big deal. Let's go. I think Ike should just kill all of these people then. Alright, Boyd probably doesn't double because Boyd is slow and it's ridiculous how slow he is, but it's fine. I'm not bitter. Please dodge? No, no dodge. Okay. Janoff should be fine though because the only other person that can attack him is this warrior and as long as he doesn't get hit. Okay. Now I know Janoff can't get hit by anything else, so I'm okay. A little scary, but he should be fine. It's an Aether. Unnecessary, but we'll take it. Alright, another Ike level up. Please get speed. Let's go. And defense. Let's go. Alright, let's go. So, Janak is fine. Everything's fine. Yeah, we're doing pretty good, actually. So, I'm going to move Heather up here. And then, I'm going to have Mia just uh, take out this guy. Let's go. Perfect damage with her pink sword of death. And then Boyd can just finish this guy off. And then now that opens up the way for Swarm to run up and heal Janoff. So let's mend him back to full health. Very nice. Now what I can do is I could make Swarm, Boyd, and Janoff move again. So what I think I'll do is I'll have Janoff move here and use a grass. And then I'm going to have, oh, Vika could do some damage. Let's see. Let's see. Let's go. Eight damage from Vika. Wait, that's actually perfect damage for Janak to kill now. Let's go. Um, I'm going to have Nyla just take out this guy. I do want to be aware of this bow guy. Um, so I'm gonna just have mine break this door. Okay, cool. Wind and wind, 37 and 36. The one's gonna do 36 minus 18, which is 18, and then the other one does 37 minus 18, which is 19. Mine can take both those hits, so we're okay there. Um, Ike unfortunately can't do much, so I'm just going to make these three move again. And then Janoff should, yeah, he perfect damage. Let's go Vika, man. Setting up the kill for Janoff. That's what I like to see. And then I'm going to have Janoff actually come up over here. Um, Boyd might be able to kill here. Let's go. Alright, don't get hit, buddy. Uh, of course. Oh, the Colossus. Very unnecessary, but I guess we'll take it. And then, if I move someone here, one, two, three. So if I move someone here, he would be an Ike could move here and attack this guy while still being in support range. That seems pretty worth it to me, because then I get to heal Void, but also buff up Ike with that support. Such that he has perfect damage! Let's go! Supports can be so helpful. Supports are a hard thing to keep track of and use when you're a newer player, which is completely fine. Um, but definitely would recommend using them. Now, Gatru takes, like almost no damage from all of these people, so I'm just going to have him hold Hand Axe and stand there. And the reason I want him to stand here is because then he could get attacked by the Warrior and by the Swordmaster and by the Sniper and attack them all back. 
And then I'm just going to shove, I guess. And we're doing pretty good. Alright, so yeah. Mom's going to take like 37 damage here, which is fine. Um, he is going to weaken this guy, though, which is going to be nice. Alright, so this guy attacks Gatry, just like we thought. Um, the one, another nice thing is that he's in support range of Shinon, and Shinon gives him like plus, I think they give each other plus two defense or something, which is pretty good. Man, if I could just gotten one more speed, he'd double all the Swordmasters on this map. But it's okay. So this is a route map, which means we need to, we need to defeat every enemy on the map. Which isn't the worst thing in the world. Um, it should take us just a few more turns. Oh, let's go with the Aether. That means he definitely kills. Very nice. Alright, please get speed. Oh, wait. Huh. That Swordmaster must have just been a little bit faster than the others. Because at 33 speed, Ike is doubling like every Swordmaster we fought so far. But I guess that Swordmaster that he just fought on this enemy phase probably has like 30 attack speed. Which is fine. No damage. Get out of here. Alright, so that guy got healed, but Mia should be able to take him down. Alright, so now we're going to do something pretty crazy here. We're going to have Marim actually kill this guy. Let's go level up. Get more strength. Easy. And then I can just have Nilo finish him. The Savage. Very unnecessary, but we'll take it. <laughs> um, one thing I do want to do is get the chest key from Janah. So, I want to make sure I do that. Thorn could, like, weaken, but I think the better idea is just have Mia kill. Oh, we could have Mia trade here, get the Tempest Blade. Where'd she get it? Oh, she got it from a drop. Cool. And then kill this guy. The Tempest Blade is a super strong weapon. It has as much might as Ragnum. Yeah, if I'm remembering correctly, it has as much might as... Yeah, 18 might. The only problem is that it has 55 hit. But like, Mia has pretty good hit. and so Or pretty good skill. So that becomes like almost a non-issue. It's not completely a non-issue, but... It's not a really bad issue. Okay, something else I can do is if I move Ike here, oh, I could use Raphael like right here. And so I could have Janoth move here, attack this guy. If only I'd given Janoth tear, that would have been helpful. But it's okay. And then move here. Then I could have Soren move here and Physic. Marime, nice. Heal him all the way. And then this way, I can kill this guy because of that Swarm support, which is super awesome. And now I can make all four of them move again. Now, unfortunately, I moved Janoth before taking his keys. Um, so we're going to go ahead and just have Vika run over there and snag those keys. Not that I actually need them, because I have Heather here, and so Heather can get these two chests. And then Nyla can get the chests in here with Marim. Um, and then what I want to do here is I'm going to have Shunan take out this guy. Because I'm betting that Titania is able to double this guy. Let's go. All right, Titania level up. HP strength, we'll take it. And then, Gatry can't kill this guy no matter what. So we're just actually gonna stand here with our hand axe again and just attack him again. All right, let's see some speed. 
Nope, no speed. We'll take the defense, though. Alright, and then up here, we'll have Raphael. Make them move again. And then Mia could probably just take out this guy. With her pink sword of death. Nice. Adept was pretty nice there. Now, importantly, Oliver does not move unless you put Raphael in his range to talk. So, like, if I were to make Ike move up here and, and like, didn't block Oliver's access to Raphael, for lack of a better word, um, he would actually be able to talk to Raphael. And that's what we're going to do. So we're going to have Boyd attack from range here. Nice dodge. Alright, please get speed, please. Come on, boy, please. It's so ridiculous. Alright, and then I don't think Janoff could kill this guy. No. Okay, but we could have Ike kill this guy. Let's go. And then I'm gonna have Janoff just move here and use some grass. And then I'll have Soren move here with the Physic, except it's actually going to equip a Tome. And then we'll have Tormod there. And then, what? What's he doing? Why is he talking? I'm just kidding. I knew what would happen. Ugh, you are truly a banquet for the eyes as well as the spirit. I am quite overcome. Unhand me. But how is it that anyone could risk a precious treasure like you in battle? What if something marred you? What are you talking about? Don't worry, pretty bird. I'll save you. You need someone who can give you loving protection. Someone like me. What? I'll take you away from these savages. I will never let them lay a single finger on you, my precious. No, no. The jealous Cretans mustn't rest for a single feather. I'll have to kill them. Come now, come to daddy. So yeah, hilariously enough, you can actually recruit Oliver by letting him talk to Raphael. So funny. Oliver is still a complete scumbag of a person. Complete scumbag. But there you go. We just recruited him into our army. Because I guess we're not above recruiting complete scumbags. Ike actually has a really funny talk conversation with Oliver that we are going to look at. Alright, let's go. So, Nyla's gonna move here. Oh no, it's turn 10 already. We're a little behind schedule, which is sad, but it'll have to work out. So the problem with being on turn 10 is that a lot of reinforcements are about to show up, which is really sad, because they take forever to deal with. So we're going to have Mariah move down here. Um, so yeah, Oliver, he's a unit. So he has he's a saint, which is funny, given his characterization. Uh, which, But it's also the same class as Reese, so you can kind of think of him as that sort of utility. Um, honestly, Oliver is fine at what he does, which is heal people. He comes with A staves, and since he's, a, since he's in the Saint class, he can get up to S or SS, which is really nice. Um, and importantly, he has 31 magic, which is enough to like heal basically however much you want. That's pretty much the only notable thing. He does have 22 strength, so he doesn't get weighed down by any tomes, which is kind of funny. Um, he has 20 speed though, which is really low, so he's going to get doubled by like everything. If we look here, he just gets thrashed. Um, but yeah, so that's Oliver. He's not great by any means, but if you need a saint that's going to heal people, he can definitely do that. Um, I'm going to bring Vika down here. Importantly, I want to get some more people down here because we're about to get tons of reinforcements. So... What I'm going to do, can Boyd do good? 
No, he's like horrible. I'm just gonna have Boyd pull out. Alright, that's it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine. Okay, so if I have Boyd move here, I could have Mia move here. And then I could have Janoff attack here. And then he'll probably get hit, which is okay. Oh, nice dodge. But importantly, I can also have him move down and get, um, be able to move again with Boyd and Mia. Wow, that level up was uh, nothing that I expected. And then we'll make these three move again. And then this way we can have Janoff just charge down here and use a grass. And then I'll Void move down and we have moved down. And that should be fine. And then Ike can move forward, take out this guy. I'm wondering how Soren does. I know Soren's not gonna like kill anything, but with that plus 30. Oh, let's go. Got some more speed and skill. Ike does have capped defense, which is pretty nice. Um, but yeah, since with that support, he does get plus 30 avoid, and so I'm thinking these guys will have like almost no hit, which is nice. Wow, this guy actually does damage to Soren. That's funny. Alright, oh, these guys can't actually attack except for this Shine guy who does 2 damage to Soren. Let's go. If I have Soren attack here with fire, he can do some damage. And then Oliver can't kill, which is sad. Let's see if this Shine Priest attacks Oliver. We could silence him, that's funny. He only has 50 hit with it though. Um, now we know this general doesn't move because he hasn't moved yet, so we should be fine. Alright, then this little mess down here. Um, Titania could do 24 with 100 hit, that's pretty sweet. Because Shinon plus Titania could kill the Swordmaster here. And then Gatry could weaken the Sniper or Warrior and then kill the one he weakens on enemy phase. I think we weaken the sniper here. Actually, I think what's gonna happen is the sniper's gonna run up here and attack Nilo, which is honestly okay. So we're gonna do something that might look a little crazy. We're gonna have Titania attack here, and then she's gonna move as far down as possible. And the reason I'm gonna do that is I'm gonna have Shinon actually move here and take out the sniper. So that he doesn't run up and attack Nyla. And then this way, Gatry can just attack both of these other people on enemy base. There we go. And the reason that worked out is because Gatry is in... Oh, let's go, the Luna got the kill. The reason this worked out is because Shinon's blocking the top ledge. And then Gatry is actually in front of the bottom ledge. And so... Since they can't move through Gatry, he's blocking that ledge, and they can't jump up and attack Shinon. There they are! So yeah, tons of reinforcements just came here. This is what we were waiting for. Um, honestly, what we could do is if we had Mia just, like, down here, we could just take out, like, them all, which would be pretty awesome. I wonder if Titania kills. Oh, she's so close! Um, but if I shove Mia with Mime, we could weaken with Titania, and, or we just kill with Mia. Easy. Let's go. Now, what I'm going to do here is... One, two, three. Perfect. Boyd's in support range. I'm actually going to give Mia um, the Silver Sword, so she does doesn't use the Tempest Blade. And then, ideally, Mia should just kill all three of these. Um, and with 124 Void, she has, they all have 30 hit or less on her. So I think she'll be okay. And then I'm going to move Janoth down here and use 
a Volane, so that he can fully heal. And then I revert it again because he'll get plus 8 gauge at the start of next turn, and that will let him be able to transform. Um, okay, so now I'm going to actually, let's do the top command, because it's so funny. Hold on a second. Aren't these your men? Why are you fighting them? It's quite simple, really. A true guardian of beauty stands with those who are beautiful. If your exquisite heron prince will not stay here in my home, I must follow him. I have seen death. It holds no mystery for me. Only my pursuit matters. Rest at ease, friends. Look, would you mind rejoining the enemy? <laughs> So, so funny, man. I just, this just cracks me up. It's awesome. All right, there's our perfect setup for soaring. Let's go. Speed? No, no speed. Soren doesn't need that speed. He just needs strength and magic, which honestly is fair. All right, let's uh, have Ike use a... Uh, Axe for no reason, just for kicks and giggles. Cool, did that. Um, I guess I could have Raphael move up here and shift, just in case we need him next turn. And then I'm gonna have Heather get that red gem, very nice. Have Nyla break this door open. Have Vika like kind of run up here maybe. Maybe she could be useful for something. And then I'm gonna have Gatry take out this guy. Now if everything goes to plan we could finish next turn. I don't think that's gonna happen. I'm gonna have Shinon move down. Um I don't want him in range of these guys, so just move there, just in case we need him. And we should be good to go. Alright, so I think Mia should just kill all of these guys. All right, good start, Vantage Astra. Don't, don't get hit. I guess is the name of the game. Nice dodge, adept, guaranteed kill with the critical, unnecessary, but we'll take it. All right, Mia, level up. Let's see some strength. Nope, just some skill. All right, and then the last one here, Vantage Astra. Easy. Mia just destroyed them. Get thrashed. Man, Mia is so good. Nyla should just handily take these guys on. Just easy. Nyla's so good. She's so strong. Oh no, three damage. Ha, huh, that's nothing. Oh man, here we go. Tons of people now. Okay, so can you plus Oliver? Oh, let's go. Oh, the flare? That's actually really helpful. Yep, there's the one hit KO with them. And then Ike should be able to just take this guy out. We're just going to use the Ragno because why not? All right, got him. All right, um, I'm gonna shove Raphael. I should have given Raphael celerity because that makes him like even more useful. Unfortunately, he's not super useful right now. And unfortunately, I can't leave Janak over here because of these bow guys. So, what I think I'll do is I'll have Titania take them on. Yeah, she does double all of them, so that could work. Um, so I could have Shinon take out this crossbow guy and then just do a repeat of last turn with Mia. Alright, could you please get strength and speed? Like, good night. And then I'm actually gonna... Yeah, so we're gonna do the repeat of Mia. I'm gonna put Janoff, like... I don't want him to be in range of the snipers. And if I move him back one space, he is. And he definitely doesn't kill this guy. 
So I think we just move Janah up. Yeah, we just move him onto the stairs here. Um, and wait. Then we can have Titanium move over here. And then I'm gonna bring Gatry down. And Bolone. And then I'm gonna leave Boyd there so that he can give the support to Mia. And she should be able to take out everyone there. I wonder if Marm can shove. Let's go. Can Tormod shove? Probably not. Yeah. Unfortunately, Vika can't open the chest. But that doesn't matter too much. Um, I am going to just have Vika move in here. And then I'll Mallet get one chest, and then Vika can get the other one next to him. Oh, the Fortify Staff? This is so such a good staff. It heals everybody's within the range. So good. It's basically Physic, but instead of healing just one person, it heals like everyone in the range. Alright, so Titania, I don't think she kills. Yep, not quite. Which is a little disappointing, but not the worst thing in the world. No Vantage Astra this time, but we did get the Adept Critical, which is all she needs. No, alright. She should just... Alright, Adept. Easy. The guaranteed kill. And another Mia level up. Let's see that strength. Nope, but we did get skill speed. Nice dodge. And adept for the guaranteed kill. Let's go. Honestly, she doesn't even need her void support. Like, she can kill them without the plus three attack. Oh, Titania leaving him with two HP. So close. Alright, so here's our chance. Um, if we're able to take out <clears throat> everyone and get this chest, we can just win this turn. So, let's go for it. Alright, so Shinon can move here and take out one of those guys. Boyd could move here and not kill, but could weaken. And then Janak could probably kill. And then Titania could kill. Okay, perfect. So if I have Shinon move here, he could just take out one of these people. And then what I can do is I can have Boyd move here and weaken this guy. And then Janak can finish him off. So he moves here, shift, get the kill. And then I can have Titania get the second sniper who's at full health. Alright, the real key is... Here's to hoping she doesn't miss. Let's go! Alright, so now we just have the one enemy left, and Mia can run up and take him out. So the real key is, we got all the chests, got the chest there, it's the last enemy. Alright, so we're good to go. I think Mia and Ike were the MVPs of this map, hands down. But Nyla also did some really good work. Alright, let's go, got it. Easy. Well, another storm weathered. It's late. Everyone try to get some sleep and be ready for tomorrow. Oh, I forgot. I think I used like a really old man voice for this guy because he just looks super old. Wiped out. Not a man left standing. It must be the will of the goddess. You. You are... Raphael? How... You're still alive. I'm so glad you're safe. I have nothing to say to you. So, you know then, what we did was unforgivable. I was against it from the beginning. I argued with the others time and again. Ah, oh, what's the use? It doesn't matter what I say now. Raphael, despite everything, I'm very happy to see that you're alive. But I beg of you, stay away from the capital. You must not anger the goddess. I've seen that man before. He's a pretty influential senator, isn't he? His name is Hetzel, Duke of Asland. I owe my life to him. Ike, I'm sorry, but can we talk later? Raphael needs to rest. Yes, of course.
All right, well, took out the, all of your map. The mansion is way different than Path of Radiance, but honestly, I kind of appreciate it. So, why are you guys here anyway? You won't believe me, but it came to me in a dream, Ike. A dream? Yeah, shortly after that light turned everyone to stone, I had a really strange dream. I don't remember it very well, but it was like there was a voice in my head, whispering encouragement. When I woke up, I knew what I had to do. I knew that everyone who hadn't been petrified was heading to the Tower of Guidance, and from there, we'd all be saved. I had the same dream. I thought this must be a divine revelation, so we left the desert to make for the Tower. Now, I want to just point something out. Nyla and Raphael took were guided to Gallia by Tormod and his friends. Now, what the game did is they just said here that they left the desert, which means that Tormod and friends were in the desert that we were just in with Micaiah and company, um, just chilling, I guess, ignoring all the wars and stuff that happened, and then have this revelation. Now, you know what the game could have done, though? The game could have, the game developers, I guess, could have designed it where Tormod joined the Laguz Alliance. I mean, he was already in Gallia, and so he could have just joined the Laguz Alliance right then and there. And that would have been so good, because that would have made Tormod so much more usable, because he would have had so much more availability. As it stands, you have Tormod for three chapters in part one, I think. Yeah, you have him for three chapters, the prison break, the swamp, and then the end game. And then you don't get him again until this chapter, when everyone has, like, just flown by him. It's so sad. Agreed, this is her way of gathering able bodies. I suppose a goddess of chaos will do things her own way. Yune, isn't, isn't that the dark goddess I keep hearing about? Should I even be listening to her? I can't really put it into words, but I can feel it inside. Listening to her is the right thing to do. I guess it's a lot like the dream you described. We Lagoos are pretty intuitive. I feel it in my blood that Yune is the goddess of our ancestors. Alright, that makes it a little easier to come to grips with. Are you feeling any better? Yes, much. Sorry if I worried you. That was quite a shock. No problem. Can we talk about it? I'd like to know about you and that man. Yes, Hetzel. It was some time ago now, a little while before the Serenus Massacre. I was alone outside of, the fort outside of the forest. There, I was found and captured by Bjork slave traders. The slavers sold me at an auction, and the winner was Lord Hetzel. I didn't know it until later, but the bidding for me among the senators was extremely competitive. So corrupt and disgusting. Lord Hetzel actually spent much of his fortune on my purchase. After he took me home, I felt deathly ill, mostly just from desperation. Lord Hetzel was deeply moved by my plight. He brought me to a temple and spent many days nursing me back to health. I have no doubt that he saved my life, but my wings never fully recovered. I haven't been able to fly since, and there's the rationale for why Raphael can't fly as a unit. <laughs> Lord Hetzel felt terrible. Do you know what he told me? He said, once you fully recover, you can return to the forest. Members of the Heron Clan, we can look inside people's hearts. I knew the truth of what Lord Hetzel said. He was being absolutely honest. I knew I could trust him from that moment on. Then, the Serenus Massacre. I didn't need to be told. I would have felt the suffering of that many of my brethren from anywhere in the world. Lord Hetzel never said anything, but I knew that the senators had murdered the apostle and blamed my clan. Because of the monstrous ambition of a handful of evil men, my entire race was burned to ash. Raphael. Late that night, I returned to the temple. Something happened to me there. Some sort of force took hold of me. The next thing I knew, I was lying in the sand. If Queen Nyla hadn't come, I would have died right there. I didn't even realize how far I was from my dear home. The Duke Hetzel is both your savior and your enemy. Hetzel was not directly involved, nor did he give orders to those who were. Something about him still troubles me, though. Whenever I think of him, I feel chaos boiling up from his heart. I sense it in myself as well. I have these same feelings welling up in me. I suppose that's why I can accept it in him. Your people, the remaining Heron tribe, they've also changed. King Tabarn has said many times that Raisin and Leanne are far from the typical Herons. Yes, I was surprised when we met again. They're both so strong, and vitality seems to shine forth from within them. Makes you wonder if chaos is really all bad, doesn't it? 
I'm starting to think that what the world needs is a balance between order and chaos. What do you think? I don't know. I think there are some things we're not meant to understand. What a good chat. I, I love that chat because it's like some good characterization, but also like it shows why Raphael hasn't been able to fly this whole game. Super good. Good battle. Very appreciative. Thanks for joining us, and we hope to see you next time.